This is not about vaccination per se, but it's about Canadians and polls. Throughout the country, we are saying, well, most polls, most Canadians say that they agree with vaccination, and they agree in Quebec. If you don't get vaccinated, you're going to get fined. Other places, you're going to lose your job. Ezra Levant knows all about freedom and privileges. I want to talk to you about the tyranny of the majority. It's almost a classic sense where, well, it must be fine because the majority agree with it. Well, so if the majority in 10 years say, no one should drive a gas car, does that mean that that's going to be the law? Well, in our democracy, we don't have a pure democracy. We have a constitutional democracy. Right. For example, if you were walking by yourself in an alley and two robbers jumped out and said, your money and your life, you'd call it a crime. But if they said, let's have a vote, the three of us. The two of us vote to take your wallet. It's a democracy. You'd know that that, that was a trick. It was unfair because you have certain rights. Well, we have be... somebody in Canada saying they had every right to do that. Well, <laughs> and, and that's the thing. The Constitution and the Charter of Rights is designed to protect the minority from the tyranny of the majority. And here's the thing. I think Justin Trudeau and Francois Legault and anyone else who's whipping up animosity against unvaccinated people is doing it for two reasons. First of all, to distract from the failure of their own policy. Second yes. of all... There is an instinct, a dark instinct in every human to hate someone or something, an enemy, to blame them for what's going on, in, wrong in our lives. In the book 1984, it was called Two Minutes of Hate. And everyone was encouraged to hate Emmanuel Goldstein and East Asia, whoever the enemy was at the, at the day. And all these people who were anti-bullying and for fat acceptance, you can't say anything mean about trans people, they're, you know, butter wouldn't melt in their mouth but they rage against the official enemy of the state today, which is the unvaxxed. It's unseemly, and Orwell talked about it in 1984. Well, I mean, we have now Toronto councillors touting the fact that they now have civil servants going from door to door in social housing saying, here's your vaccination. Most people can't get a vaccination right now, a third booster. I know it for a fact. Yeah. I can't get one until the end of March. But we are making a class of people where the government is coming along and saying, by the way, there are reasons people might not want one. Maybe, oh. maybe they have natural immunity. That's probably the number one reason. Right. Maybe they have a distrust. Maybe there's a medical reason. Maybe they have a reason of conscience. And they are being demonized. By the way, the demographics in Toronto that are the least vaccinated are black people, people from Arabic uh, countries, and, uh, and Hispanics. And generally, they don't have, generally, over generalization, they don't have the incomes to withstand losing their jobs. Yeah, so basically, it's a form of classism. I mean, a, a Marxist would say that this is systemic racism. But you know what? So what? Justin Trudeau needs an enemy because he's got to blame someone. Well, Ezra Levant, Rebel News, keep fighting against the tyranny of the majority. I Thanks will. very much. Three minutes. Thank you very, very much for watching and for engaging in the three minutes, which will carry you through most discussions for the day. 2022 is going to be a very, very tough year. Stay with us. Please tell your friends to subscribe and PayPal. Thanks.